Hi students, this is Jayavadaya. Good morning to all. So today we are going to discuss time response of first order system for unit step input. So this is a close to loop first order system with unity feedback. So for this we are going to find out the transfer function C of S divided by R of S. So before that we have to eliminate this feedback path. So in the feedback we are having the gain is 1 because this is unity feedback. So therefore here H of S value is 1. So therefore G of S divided by 1 plus G of S into H of S because here the feedback is negative feedback. So that's why here we are putting 1 plus G of S into H of S. After simplifying this we will get 1 divided by 1 plus T S. So therefore we can find out C of S divided by R of S is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus T into S. Then next here we are going to consider the input as unit step. So therefore we can write R of T is equal to 1 because it is a unit step. So therefore R of T is equal to 1. Then what is R of S? So R of S is equal to 1 by S. Here we took Laplace transform. So, one node Laplace transform is 1 by S. So, therefore, we can find out C of S is equal to 1 divided by 1 plus T S into R of S. So, next we have to substitute R of S is equal to 1 by S. So, that value in this place. So, therefore, we will get C of S is equal to 1 divided by S into 1 plus T S. After this, what we have to do now? Then we have to apply the partial fraction. So before that we are bringing in the form of S plus some values. Okay. So that's why here you see. So here we took T outside. So therefore C of S is equal to 1 by T divided by S into S plus 1 by T. Then after that we are applying a partial fraction. So therefore C of S is equal to A divided by S plus B divided by S plus 1 by T. Then next here we have to find out the constant A and B. So for that first we are putting S is equal to 0. Once if you are putting S is equal to 0 then you will get A is equal to 1. Then next we are putting S is equal to minus 1 by T. Then we will get B is equal to minus 1. After calculating the A and B value substitute this two value in this place. So therefore C of S is equal to a value is 1. So 1 divided by S minus B value is minus 1. So that's why minus 1 divided by S plus 1 by T. After this you have to take inverse Laplace transform on both sides. If you are taking inverse Laplace transform on both sides means you will get C of T is equal to 1 minus E to the power of minus T divided by T. So this is the response of the closed loop first order system for the unit step input okay then after that what we are doing now we are substituting t is equal to 0 in this equation so t is equal to 0 now you will get c of t is equal to 1 minus e to the power of 0 e to the power of 0 anything power 0 1 so therefore 1 minus 1 you will get 0 then next we are substituting t is equal to 1 into t capital t so therefore your c of t becomes 0.632 Similarly, t is equal to 2t, we will get 0.865. Then finally, we are substituting t is equal to infinity. So if, if you are substituting t is equal to infinity, then you will get c of t is equal to 1. Okay. The next you know that the input is unit step. So this is the input. For this input, what is the response we are getting? So that one only I am plotted here. Okay, so this is a response of first order system for unit step input. Then next you must know what is meant by time constant. So this is an important two mark question. Define time constant of the first order system. So what is time constant now? The time taken for the step response of a system to reach 63.2 percentage of the final value is known as the time constant of the system. So this is the response of the first order system. Thank you all.